OK, so now that we have a, gra a grasp of scope and we know that this app belongs to this scope, we know where to place our code. So this is not part of our scope. So let's delete everything that's not part of our app. Mm -hmm. OK, so now let's talk a little bit about model binding. So uh, at, the, at this point, we understand that this message correlates to this message here. Now, let's say we want to change the value. So let's make an input field. Let's make vModel. And let's make message. So we are basically binding this message to the simple field. And let's see how this works out. So let's change the value in the input field. And it also changes the value displayed here. So this is basically react reactivity in action. And all that is happening is on input, uh, on when this changes, it sends a event out. And uh, that event handles changing this value here. Uh, so now let's uh, look at another directive. Let's create a, let's copy the simple field and let's say vbind value. Let's see what this does. So now we have two input fields and we see this one has hello world. Let's change this one. And we can see that when we change the value here, it also changes it here. But if we start changing the value here, it does not change the values in these uh, other fields that are also bound uh, to this message. So. Let's take a step back a, bit, a little bit and uh, see what's actually happening. So vbind is you're basically saying, right, I want to bind some kind of property. So um, let's open up our console and let's inspect this element. You can't see it here, but really what we're doing is we're binding a value to this object. So let's try to do something like this vbind name message let's refresh and now you can see that the name is bound here as well and if we would uh, change it we can see this name is gets updated as well so what i'm really trying to get at is this vmodel directive also sends out an event where this one doesn't send out an event and what we can do to send out events we can say v on. This would be the same as using the on change or calling any uh, JavaScript event handler that way. So v on, and again semicolon. And here is where you want to specify your event like on click, but I would rather want to use input on input, right? So anytime we input a value, we want to change this message here. So let's say message equals event target target as in this input field and we want to access the value property so let's refresh and let's start inputting and we can see that we again re retain our reactivity even though we're not using the model so the model is not much different from what we're doing here in fact this is exactly what the model does but it's rather a syntactical sugar just remember vbind is sort of like a pipe into the element, and v on is a pipe out of the element. And with bind, you're giving something to the element, and v on, the element is emitting something. So he's saying, I'm changed or I've been clicked on, you know? So these are really the two concepts that you need to be aware of uh, binding something to the property or like an HTML element, and making sure that if you want it to be interactive, you're just binding an event to it, some sort of event. All the events uh, that are available, you can bind them with beyond.